an area where there often tends to be a little bit of sort of confusion, um, which people need to know possibly a little bit more about, is sort of capital items, items of fixed assets which they actually purchase, and also, um, it sort of goes a little bit of hand in hand, sort of pre-traded expenditure. Uh, which I'll come on to in the in the second part of this uh, this sort of section. Um, firstly, um, though on sort of capital sort of items, what is a capital item? Um, um, often asked. Um, typically, if you bought buy a bit of equipment um, or a fixture for your actual sort of business, it's treated as a capital item. For tax purposes, um, as the rules currently stand, you can claim quite a generous relief. You can spend up to £250,000, um, so quite well within most of our budgets, I would hope, on sort of qualifying sort of capital items and get a whole deduction from the profits, a 100% deduction from the profits in the year you actually buy the capital item. Capital items, often people claim things like sort of uh, computers, iPads, printers, scanners, iPhones, that type of thing, which are fairly, people do tend to think of those things, but let's just extend it out a little bit sort of further. If you've got an item or you've got a particular sort of office, um, heater, if you've got a kiln, for instance, on your particular business and you use it for business purposes, that would be treated as a capital item. That would fall within uh, the capital allowances regime. You can claim 100% relief. A stove, for instance, in your, in, your, in, your, in your office, which is used to, to heat the office well, for, for business purposes, blinds, those types of things, desks. Do you think a little sort of bit further what you can actually claim? There's often some things which are, are just not thought about and sort of missed. Also, um, with pre-trading expenditure, um, an area commonly missed, which can help to save a little bit of tax, which is important in the early years, is often you've spent quite a bit of money on setting up the business, um, things on websites, marketing, promoting the product or the service you've actually got. That is all um, eligible to be deducted from your profits. Uh, the rules are such that you, in essence, treat the deduction, you get the tax deduction in line with the day you actually commence trade. Both things, uh, both the capital expenditure um, um, are often missed, so do think a little bit wider and then record the items in your, in your accounting records. Again, probably the thing to do is probably have a separate page in your accounting records or a separate sheet listing down the items you've incurred prior to starting trade. Anything you do ultimately will help you because it will save a little bit of tax. Key to it is they've got to be for business purposes. As long as they are, you'll get a tax deduction. Mm -hmm.